Welcome to a tour through the amazing city of Madrid. We will start off in the most traditional area of the city, going through several neighborhoods. Hope you enjoy it. Madrid, around the river. La Plaza de Oriente. This plaza is situated in the historic center of Madrid. It was designed by Nazis Opascu Oland Kalma in 1884. One of the main developers was the King Jose I, who ordered the demolition of the medieval houses that were around that area during that time. This plaza has a rectangular shape, it is presided by two of the most relevant buildings of the capital, and its occidental profile is delimited by the real palace and the real theater. In this place three sectors can be distinguished. The Central Gardens, the Garden of Carbo Novel, and the Gardens of Lepanto. Calle de San Nicolás. The streets in this area are quite different. Instead of the modern streets that have a 90 degree angle, these ones make a curve that allows the viewer to see the continuation of the street instead of having a dead angle view. If you continue the path, you will find the St. Nicholas Plaza in which there is the St. Nicholas of Bari's church. This is a clear example of the mixture between culture. You can see this, because some parts of the church are built in the Muvija way, while other parts are built in the Baroque way. At the beginning of Madrid's development along this street there were many houses designed for single families. But as the city developed and grew more, construction started to take place and the area that was initially planned for single family housing turned out to be for collective housing. While you continue this path you'll find yourself in one of Madrid's most traditional streets. It is way more modern than the ones we've seen before due to the street's width. This area is composed of many shops and kiosks. At the end of the street we found the Cathedral of Armudena. It was built during the 19th and 20th century. It possesses many architectonic styles, ranging from neoclassic in the exterior, neogothic in the interior, and neoromanic in the crypt. In this area we found the remains of the old Islamic wall, and the Muhammad I's park. At the end of the path there was the entrance for Athenia's Park. El Paseo de Plasencia y el Parque de Atenas. This park is aimed towards recreational activities. This is a modern zone in contrast with the oldest part of the city that doesn't have green areas where people can relax and do as they please. This is a fact that is taken into account nowadays in the construction or reconstruction of new city areas. Madrid Rio. This is a reconstructed traditional area that became a modern zone in the city. 
In its origins it was constructed to control and prevent the floods that affected the city back then. Nowadays it is a leisure zone, and aimed for different activities along the year, such as sport, art exhibitions or festivals. The river also comes with different dams that control the river's flow, protecting the fauna and flora of the river. Calle de la Ribera del Manzanares. To finalize this visit, we approach to this modern area. This is a relatively new zone that was made for the people that took part in constructions back in the 70s and 80s. These dwellings were made from cheap materials. This way it was more accessible for people that had minimum wages, like workers.